Joining us now is Victor Sampson, Associate Professor of STEM Education at the University of Texas, Austin, and also Jonathan Grooms, a research scientist at Florida State. Thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you for having us. Yeah, we are you. talking with you this morning about argument-driven inquiry, a relatively new instructional approach, and you both have authored publications for NSTA. Will you first explain to us, Jonathan, what is argument-driven inquiry? Sure, so argument-driven inquiry is a new instructional model, and the main goal of our model, we really want to emphasize authentic and educative uh, investigations for students that really model kind of the, the scientific community uh, as a whole, and we really think ADI kind of shifts that emphasis uh, in the classroom. And Victor, how does this approach differ from what teachers are used to using as far as an instructional approach? Um, when you think of traditional laboratory activities that happen in the classroom, they're very prescribed and very kind of what we call cookbook activities. So what we do with argument-driven inquiries is students are investigating questions and engaging in the practice of the science to answer those questions. So as Jonathan, Jonathan said, that that's where, they, where it becomes more authentic. They're, do, they're learning science by doing science. Interesting, and how do you think that this approach will relate to the next generation science standards? Yeah, so it, it actually aligns really, really well to the next gen standards. Uh, the eight uh, essential practices of science and engineering are emphasized throughout ADI investigations, so students are answering questions and analyzing data and arguing from evidence. So, so all of those practices are really central to an ADI investigation. And Victor, what are you hearing from the teachers as far as how the students are performing as a result of this new approach? Well, they're, re they're really excited. So when we talk to teachers, and we spend a lot of time out in classrooms, um, classrooms supporting teachers and working with teachers, and they're, they really talk about how it's transforming what's going on inside their classroom. So instead of their students passively listening and struggling with the content, they're actually having an opportunity to use these core ideas of science and cross-cutting concepts um, to engage in the practice to really explain what's going on uh, in, in the natural world around them and um, the teachers are saying that students are much more engaged much more excited about what's going on and they're learning a lot more so that they're able to not only know the content but they're able to use it to make sense of the world around and engage in these practices in a much better way so the teachers are very very excited about what's going on because their students are learning so much inside the classroom now and what type of changes do you think teachers who use this type of practice will see in the classroom ultimately Ultimately, they're going to have students that are more engaged and, and better able to justify the things that they know and understand uh, related to science. So that's, that's our goal. And as far as teachers are concerned, this is something new and sometimes it's challenging to work something new into the classroom. What has what has the reaction been like from the teachers? Well, they're, they're actually very excited. So sometimes teachers will be hesitant to try it at first because this is seen as, as a big departure of what's going on. And sometimes they're a little nervous if, they're, if their students are going to be able to handle it. But once you kind of dive in and get going, teachers are just excited as the students um, often will be telling us that this is why I got into teaching in the first place, to have my, uh, to have my kids um, excited about the content, interacting with each other, and really doing the things um, that, they, that are characteristic of science. Students getting passionate about what Absolutely. they're learning. Terrific. All right, Victor Sampson and Jonathan Grooms, thank you so much for joining us.